Welcome to Intercut on Wednesdays where I'm trying to build the Marble Machine X. My dream is to build a machine that can play music with marbles and make it work so well so we can go on a world tour with my band Wintergatan and play live music on stage featuring the Marble Machine X. To make this dream come true there's a lot to do and today I'm going to attach the Audio Central here onto the Marble Machine X. This project is really cool, it's made by Christoph Bruning. The idea with this Audio Central is to save the Marble Machine X from becoming a spider web of audio cable. So this is cable management on an engineering level. First I wanted to show you something. Listen to this. Cricket season. We're gonna have this sound now for a couple of months. Okay, let's go. This is a custom made rack unit. So in here we can put 24 microphones. And here we can put signals back into the Marble Machine X if we need to. And then we can get all of these channels out in one single plug here. Here's the second unit made to hold the Ireland preamps. And Christoph have made mock-up placeholders of these preamps. That is a genius move because the idea is to remove one and replace it with a real preamp. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Look. I have to open it up to remove the clips. So now I can access that screw that sits on the inside there. Got it. So disassembling these preamps and assembling them just to remove the clip will take some time and an earlier version of Martin would have just cut the screw off from behind. But I realized that would leave a rattling screw head loose inside an electronical preamp, which is not World Tour safe. So we have to do this the safe and secure way. The fit is perfect. We can access the flip switches from here. And if I turn it around, we can access the cable inputs. This is great solution, Christoph. So here are custom XLR cables in different lengths. Wow, look at that. So here's the BOA constrictor that will go from the Marble Machine X to the studio or live mixing console. And here's the end of the BOA constrictor. This is called a spider. A lot of animal references. And here comes all the audio channels out. So here you can see all the connectors. This probably only goes on correctly. Oh, that's so smooth. Can we get a click? Yes! <laughs> it's like the matrix when they connect the brain to the machine, huh? So here is our planned placement on the back here using all this empty space. This placement would be the utilitarian. It's easy for me to do, but I don't like how it looks. Sorry for this association, but the only thing I can think about is that it looks like the Marble Machine X needs a diaper change. And <laughs> we cannot have the Marble Machine X looking like that, right? So if I take the top unit and use this space above here, we can reduce the amount taking down to only one double rack unit here. That will look much better. To do that, I need to move the symbol holder. I can move it over here. I need to redo these things. Time for the angle grinder.
check this out. The audio central is on and if you look closely, it doesn't stick below this edge at all. So we have averted the aforementioned design issue. Up here is the marble track I made in the last week's video. If I zoom in, boom. This is really easy to work with. I love it. Bottom tray full with real Ireland preamps and two placeholder fake ones. And Olivier and the team from Idea Acoustic is here working on this with me right now. Before we check out the cable management, you can see the start of it behind me. I want to head over to Christoph Brüning and check out how Christoph has designed and engineered these parts. So Christoph Brüning, over to you. So uh, the back of the stage box has the uh, 28 channels which means we have 24 pure input channels and the last four channels are input or output so that we can choose if that's just more microphones or if that's uh, a possibility of uh, returns to the MMX. On the uh, multi-core connector we have 85 pins and 84 of those are those 28 channels. One pin is empty for right now because it's the ground for the overall shield. So that's what I have to do next. Now the pin is ready to be put back in. Connect that to the housing screw right next to it. We can actually strip the preamps of their housing and have the boards in here with a different front panel so we can integrate all that to save space. And the boards that carry the XLRs have soldering points so we can directly connect them internally. Um, we won't do that now because we want to stay flexible. Wow, Christoph, I am deeply impressed by the quality of your work. This is like highest, highest tier of audio engineering for the Marvel Machine X. The whole community is applauding you right now. As promised, now I'm going to finish this up by doing the cable management from the Marm Machine X to my studio. And Olivier and the team from ID Acoustic are here to help me to do the second installation of my music studio of three. Okay. So this is the cable that has to go through here to make a neat finish. It doesn't work? Yeah. It's an amazing experience for me to watch this team work in my studio and creating something better than I could ever do if I spent two years myself on it. So it's really, really exciting to finally turn this place into a proper music studio and we're gonna cover this process in an upcoming build. Yeah! So we start here with some simple Velcro around the leg and then we need to save some slack of this cable here around the murder machine because we're gonna move it around. And then the cable goes straight in to a duct, a cable duct on the wall that you see behind me here. And then the cable travel in this duct. These electric connectors are brand new, fresh, and these will be gone. They are not even connected. Uka has pulled fresh electricity to my whole studio so I can connect things without hearing that sound. Oh, I'm hearing it sparkling. So here comes the cable from the Marble Machine X. Then it goes into another cable duct on the underside on my stage floor, right here. And this stage floor has a cable that straight in front of it underneath here. So here I will also have electricity and the cable goes all the way here and guess what comes up from this hole? Da -da -da. What is this? 28 fresh audio channels directly from the Marble Machine X. We oui, mercy. And this doesn't go through. Fear, no fear. We have thought of that. Meet the spider. This spider connects to the snake. I think the technical term is multi-core and not snake, but it's more fun. The male snake creates an unholy aliens with the female spider. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Don't mess this up, Martin. Ooh. Can we have a click? Oh, my new engineering life. 
has just turned so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Spider and snake have found their new home in the dungeon. Look, there they live, happily ever after. Okay. There we go. How clean is that? I have three of those for 24 channels, which is exactly what we're getting from the spider. Cables come from the floor from the spider, goes straight into the microphone inputs. Can we have a click? Oh yeah, we can have a click. So from here, I pull audio into the analog to digital and then on to the interface and we're recording the audio into the computer. Boom, boom, boom. From there to there. Without you seeing almost, ah, <laughs> a single cable. I think it's really fun if you can learn along with me in this video series. And I've been a music producer my whole life. I've been mixing and mastering and recording bands and producing other artists as well as my own records my whole life. And so far I have not been bothered about the audio part of the Marvel Machine X because it's not been there mechanically. But I think this is the first part seeing where we actually can transition into real audio engineering on Winterlot and Wednesdays in a while. And I hope to be able to make it a little bit educational that you can learn together with me. I am going to use this setup, a real studio setup, to really crank the sound level of the Marm Machine X to maximum. This setup will leave me no excuses for not do the best work I can with a stupid idea, because recording live music with a marble machine is fundamentally a very, very stupid idea, so... <laughs> and they say shit in, shit out, so... Yeah, see, already making excuses. Perfect. <laughs> I have a bonus task. Christoph told me something nice. Let me show you. Christoph saw this on a picture on Discord and he was like, you can take it off if you want. I can put it back if it's needed. So, can we have a click? Oh, yes. So clean. So I will save this and I will save this and it will be put on again when we go on the world tour. There's no mistaking about how happy I am that we reached this part of the process. I want to say thanks to the Patreons and YouTube members for keeping me working on this. And today, most of all, to Christoph, working with you is such a pleasure. I'm humbled by your contribution to my dream. Thank you. See you next week. Bye. Shoo.